Okay, another test drive, guys. Today we got a 1960 Cadillac sedan. This is a four-door car. Uh, I believe to be 390 up under the hood. Does have the AC compressor. It's not hooked up though. Does have power steering. This car should be a pretty good test drive. She is huge. I love the big wings on the back. Go to maplemotors.com for financing and shipping and detailed pictures. There's about 100 detailed pictures of this car and every car on the lot. And of course, hit subscribe, share, and hit like, and you can see content from us where we're picking out the flaws on any of these old classics. We do this so that you know what you're getting. We just buy, sell, and trade here. We do take trades. And mainly, we'll take them back there, clean them up, make sure they run all right, and give you a video on all the flaws. With that being said, sit back, relax. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, let's look around the interior and place your bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? We're going to be checking that out. Here's an all right shape. The seats look pretty good. Door panels look good. The dash has got a few wrinkles over here where it's so large. You can see how it's kind of bubbling a little bit from the sun. Go ahead and start her up. This one starts up good. I'll show you the mileage. It's very possible to be original. Not saying it is, but hard to prove mileage on any of these cars from the 60s, 70s. Package tray back there needs to be redone. You can see the fabric's messed up. And it has no headliner. So this one's gonna need a headliner put in it. Of course, no AC, but does the blower motor work? Let's see here. Got two different sides, one's for air and one's for heater and it's not cutting on neither one of those are cutting on the original clock sometimes you can mess with them get them moving look it does move i don't know for how long but right now oh there it goes it stopped <laughs> radio give her a second i heard a click Place your bets on the horn. We're gonna be trying it out. Wipers, anything? Wipers are not working. Windows coming up. Back one's coming down. Slow on the up part. That back one right there is coming down. And it needs help going back up. The switch is out going up. Let me try it back here. Yep. There it goes. It does work. The switch is out on the upright position there. What about this one? It's working. A little slow. I'm going to come down with it and leave it down. Let some air circulate through here. Let's try that horn. Did you place your bets? Horn works on this one. Gas gauge is on E. But I do not believe that gas gauge works. I think they told me they already went and got gas right before this video. But we don't have to. Let's hit the road and see how she runs and drives. Okay, so we're going to roll out of here. The seat belts, we only have half of one. This one and the other side is missing. This one goes park, neutral, drive. Well, let's take off here. Speedometer's coming up on the dash. When I let go of the steering wheel, it's got a slight left pull. Not too bad, but it is a slight left pull on this one. See, kind of drifting over. If I get on the brakes, kind of pulls to the right a little bit, but quits. The brakes are okay, they're stopping decent. They were pulling to the right, but I think that's pretty much stopped. It probably had some dust on the brakes there, and it cut that out. Our temp gauge is not coming up on the dash, not so far. I think it should have moved. Along with that fuel gauge, it's not working. So you got 
got blinkers for your turn signals up on the fenders here. That one is out. I can hear them. But on top of the fender there, the little light bulb is out. So we're gonna pull in this parking lot here, get a few outside shots. I'm gonna drive over the camera, light up the undercarriage. And uh, of course, when we get back to the car lot, I'm gonna be walking around this ride, inside and out, picking out the flaws. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so far so good. Let's go ahead and head on back to the lot here. Let's see, neutral drive. is very smooth reminds me of a boat it's another one of those floaters it rides like a Cadillac <laughs> can't be hauling off off the car like that come on now we'll take this back with us 
Oh, that's funny. Look at that guy's laughing too. He's like, what in the world? <laughs> we need to check him hubcats, make sure they're tight on there. Apparently. It's still got a little bit of a right pull when you instantly hit the brakes. Of course, now it doesn't. It's just when you initially touch them. Okay, so I'm right around the corner from the car a lot. I've already done the walk around, which I'm gonna put at the end of this video. That's where we're walking around, pointing out all the cosmetic stuff with the chips, scratches, flaws, rust. You're gonna wanna check that, because uh, that's mainly what's wrong with our cars, a lot of cosmetics. Uh, we try to go over everything and make sure that you know what they need. With that being said, those detailed pictures are also a plus, and I know I say it a lot, but people don't know about them when they call, even after watching the video. try this there we go that's pretty smooth so we roll on down to Brian's see what he's got going on today maybe there's something cools in his parking lot well I have to do it on this side since I got my hubcap off <laughs> Be cruising through the front. He does have, what's that, a Chameleon Challenger? And there's also a uh, old Chevy sitting there. We get a few of those here lately. They've went fast. Look at that. Wow. That is a lot of metal flake. Goodness. That car looks wild, guys. Huh. Oh, SRT. Aftermarket set of wheels and a lot of flake in that paint job. But yeah, this is Brian's Motorsports. He does, he probably put the wheels on that car. People ask for uh, wheels and tires from him every day. He does suspension lifts, interiors, stereo systems. Uh, so you, a lot of people are buying cars from us and they'll send them down here and get a few things done before they send them to their home. That is a possibility. I want to go back through there. I wonder if I can squeeze in that. I think so. It's a big car, but. Let's see what we got here. Yep, tight fit. We made it. Coming around back of Brian's Motorsports here. There's a 94, 96 Impala somewhere around there. Got another 454 SS truck sitting right out here in the front. An Escalade brand new with custom everything. This is a little awesome section. The new vet aftermarket wheels or are those I think those are aftermarket yeah they definitely are he does the lifts on the trucks he probably put those wheels on that it's got a 4G auto front clip too it's like gator skin interior on that car let's keep on rolling yeah, he's always working on stuff, so check that out, brian'smotorsports.com. You won't be let down. What is that? Huh. I haven't seen one quite styled up like that. Very cool. Oh, this old truck right here. That's a wet dream right there. Willwood brakes. Look at the dish on the back of that. Some fat tires. Golly. Lifted Suburban. Yeah, he's got it going on today. Huh. Sorry, guys. Oh, we're going to head back to the lot now, and this is when we're going to do the uh, picking out the flaws segment of this video. So stick around. I'll see you in a minute.
Okay, let's get started. We're gonna be walking around, pointing out chips, scratches, flaws, anything I can find. Look at the detailed pictures that we provide at maplemotors.com. And uh, of course, I'm gonna go down the lower portions first, all the way around the car. This is a huge car to do too. The bumper here has got some color change just from the water dripping down over time. You got a little bit of pitting popping up there. A little bit of pitting here too. <clears throat> Coming down this side. The paint job is not the greatest. It is older and black shows everything. A little hazy here in the middle. Down on the bottom here, you got a couple little bubbles popping up. Some chips. See how that hazy line runs down. You also got some rust popping up here in the back corner. It's a chip there and a chip there. A little wax left over there. Some shadows in the way. We're going to start back on the front and run the midsection now. It's got little specks here and there, you can see, that are popping up. A couple of, of them on the paint job there. Paint run right here in the corner. A little chip there. A little hazy around your door handles. Chrome on the back here is pitted. I love the wing. I wonder if people walked into that and like poked themselves. I bet that hurt. Any kind of sharp point like that. Little spot here. Trim around your back window is in great shape. The seal there has got a little bit of dry spot there. But for majority, it looks good. Windows, chrome around them is not bad. Do got the old glass popping up everywhere down at the bottom. A little bit around that edge. Front window, the trim looks good around it. The glass is nice and clean. Mirror, same way. A little bit of pitting popping up here, though. A little bit of pitting on your chrome up here as well. Heading on over to this other side. Same thing. Run down the lower portion. Got a few little chips and bubbles popping up right there. A little hazy here, cracking the paint. Looks like you got some chips there. The paint's kind of messing up the lower paint here. You got a little rust popping up there at the bottom corner. Chip here. See all that around that trim there, coming down this lower portion. Same thing as the path or the driver's side. A little hazy. Spots on the door. A few chips. Some carpet hanging out there. Chips in the back here on the skirts as well. A few little bubbles popping up there. Bubbles popping up here. A little bit of pitting on your tail light cover back that midsection. It's like bubbles or chips, not bubbles. These are chips. A little paint run there. Kind of hazy. Chips. 
light scratch here. Spots here and there, they're just really small specks. You got some haziness in the paint there, you see that? I think a really good buff job on this car would help out quite a bit, change the appearance. You do got some stuff popping up around the trim there you'd want to watch out for, a little bit of rust, chips where water got inside them and caused it to break up the rest of the paint there. Front window on this side actually looks pretty good. Not bad at all. The seal around your vent window needs to be replaced. It's cracked, old glass. This one's got a big crack in it on the passenger window. See that package tray needs to be redone too. Back window, pretty good. Roof, a little hazy here. Could use some wax, light scratches on the roof there. Same with this back here. A little hazy like the roof. Lots of little spots in the paint. Coming up on the back end here. Pitting on the chrome. Scratches on the bumper. Where you put the gas at. That gas gauge was not working on this one. The seal needs to be changed out on the trunk. You can see how brittle it is falling apart. Looking in the trunk. It's got a few spots, a little spot there. There's a hole here. There's a hole here as well, in there, up in the corner here. Up in your package tray. panels there and around the edges coming on down with this trunk lid you can see on the edge there it's got a chip a little bit of dirt in there it could have been scrubbed out Got pitting on your chrome there too. Coming on down. Shuts good. Oh, that looks awesome. It's like the Batmobile. You got a lot of little specks on the trunk. They're pretty much scattered out. I mean, at any point you can look down and find some of them. So keep that in mind. But as far as big dents or anything, I don't see anything on that trunk. Um, we've made it around this ride. Let's look at the interior real, real quick and uh, get her started up. As far as the interior goes, the carpet in this one actually looks pretty good. It has been replaced. You can see on the seat, it is in good shape. The side of the seat, though, yeah, you can see the rust trying to come through re, a reshot. Maybe sand it down and repaint it. Turn out pretty good to match that seat that's not ripped up. The back seat, same way. It's not all tore up either. Pretty good shape. Package tray, well, you know what it is. It needs a cover. And of course, if you're gonna do that, you might as well hit the headliner and cover it as well with the same material. Coming up on your door panel, your armrest, it's got a little tear in it. Well, well, a little bit more now that I touched it. Down here at the bottom, you can see the carpet is faded. It's kind of hanging down here. The seal has been painted over to you. That needs to replace it. It doesn't feel bad. But looking at the bottom of the door. If 
and your jams. Pretty good. Put the key in the ignition. I can't remember exactly which one it is. We'll try this one. That'll work. Starts up good. Motor is nice and quiet. Got a aluminum radiator put in it. She's been staying cool the whole test drive. Under the hood here, actually looks pretty good. Trying to block the sun here so you see up under the edges. Insulation's kind of ate up there. There we go, you can really see up in here now. Not bad. Little spot there. This hood is massive. on down with it a little stiff there chips on the edge here You got some chips up here on the hood little spots just like the trunk they're kind of scattered everywhere spots up here guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit subscribe share and i'll see you in the next video i'm going to be pointing out the flaws on all these cars that way you know what you're getting if you go to maplemotors.com you can look at our inventory as of every monday that's when we update we usually put about 10 cars on this last week we ended up putting eight on it was due to weather that's usually the only reason we can't get a 10 car update is the weather because if it rains all week i don't know how i'm going to get videos or get them cleaned all right guys i do appreciate you watching we do have financing and shipping available for you again maplemotors.com is where you need to go thanks see you later